Hi, my name's Rachel, and today you're going to watch me catfish dudes on Tinder using verbatim Rowan Whitethorn quotes. Rowan Whitethorn is this guy, so he's going to stay with me for this journey. So if you don't know who Rowan Whitethorn is, uh, he is the main love interest of Aelin Galatinius in <laughs> Sarah J. Mass's Throne of Glass series. Um, that might be kind of spoilery. If you have not read both first two books of the Sarah J. Mass series, Throne of Glass, please don't watch this. <laughs> please turn it off and finish the books and then please come back and watch it because we're going to have a good time but I don't want to spoil anything for you. So Rowan here, um, also pictured here, is a fey prince who also tends to make women super thirsty. Similarly, Resand from Sarah J. Mass's other series makes women thirsty and if you watched my previous videos, you know what's gonna happen here. I did a video recently where I catfish dudes on Tinder using verbatim recent quotes and it was a lot of fun to make. This video was slightly harder to make because recent as a fey person is generally a flirty dude. Rowan is not. He's generally kind of a grumpy ass old man. However, I still was able to pull about 50 to 60, probably closer to 60 quotes and use them on Tinder to catfish <laughs> unsuspecting gentlemen. Mm, gentlemen is not the right word for many of these cases. Big yikes. Here's how this worked in my last video. I created a scale of thirst for Farah, who is the love interest of Resand, and I created an Aelin scale of thirst for how thirsty I would measure these dudes when I use Rowan quotes on them. Now before I get into that, I want to tell you that my profile <laughs> On Tinder, I said my name was Rowan. Last time, I said my name was Risa. This time, I just went straight up and said my name was Rowan. That did prompt a lot of dudes to just message me asking me, hey, cool name, what's your ethnicity? And I was like, no thanks. Don't just ask people what their ethnicity is. That's dumb. Tinder is kind of a cesspool. So I said my name was Rowan, and I said my age was 28. And I did that because Rowan's an old fae dude. Um, I also said that I was looking for a different age group than I said I was looking for last time so I could try to get like a different pool of dudes to pick from. Because I didn't want to catfish the same exact dudes, that would be dumb. So none of these are the same guys as the last time. In fact, there was only one overlap where I saw one similar person and I didn't swipe right on him. In my Tinder bio, I decided to use the Rowan quote, does your lover know what you are? Which prompted so much hilarity. So getting into the Aelin scale of thirst, um, I'm gonna start from number one, which is the lowest on the scale of thirst that these dudes can be, and I labeled that Rowan punching Aelin in the face, which happens not long after they meet each other. They really did not get along. Level two is Rowan grabbing her tongue so she can't talk shit about Maeve. Slightly less violent, so that's good. Three, a not particularly nice bite on the neck. If you've read the series, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Number four is Rowan carrying all her boxes of chocolate. Now he still thought her an arrogant piece of shit at this point. However, he was nice enough to carry all of her boxes of chocolate when they went and visited some town. Number five, starting to heat shit up, is you're staying with me from now on, which is something he said to her after, I don't know, she has some sort of episode where she burns out on her powers and then he's like you should stay with me from now on like literally in the same room and they like fall asleep holding hands clearly sexual tension is happening i shouldn't say that i mean it's totally possible to have like a a friendship with a dude where you hold hands number six is karenam where they find out that they're like karenam and they like can combine powers because they're like super friends. Number seven is you make me want to live Rowan, which is something she says to him like right before they're about to make out. Uh, number eight is the infamous scene where he literally is so into her but doesn't want to bang that he pours a bucket of ice water on himself. Nice. Number nine is golden nightgown. Clearly you know what I'm talking about, unless you haven't read this, in which case I'm just talking nonsense. Number 10 is banging it out on the beach, which was like so inappropriate and so poorly timed, but 
I mean, whatever, do you, or do Aelin, I guess. I'm not gonna go over every quote I used or I'll be here for an hour. Okay, so that is the Aelin scale of thirst, and that's what I'm going to do use to measure how thirsty these dudes are for Rowan quotes on a scale of one to 10. Okay, before I get into like the actual dudes who fell for this, um, I'm going to start with messages from this dude named Clayton, and I will put all the messages right here. Now, Clayton is an interesting case because I've never, in the time of me doing this, which has been all of twice, had anyone know what I'm talking about, like call me out and be like, oh, that's a quote from something. But Clayton caught me, so I just want to give a little shout out to Clayton. He said, um, I guess he saw the photos that I used, which were not of me, they were of a friend of mine, and of her traveling. And he said, I'm slick jealous of how together your life appears. Is slick jealous a term now? I don't know the youngin's vernacular. <laughs> so I use the Rowan quote, tell me something I don't already know. My puppy is a rotty lab mix and loves to go on night walks. Then he <laughs> followed up with, actually, now that I think about it, that came off as initially pretty arrogant, but since you're on Tinder, your life isn't as together at first glance, huh? Damn. <laughs> so I followed up with, what are you getting at? Well, humor me, why are you on Tinder? I've never been with an equal. What would you consider equal and what aspects? Never underestimate the power of that insufferable swagger. And he answered with, it was that insufferable swagger that won your cranky immortal heart, which is what Aelin says to Rowan in response to that particular quote. So I said, ah, damn, you got me. And he's the only one who has in this whole time of me doing this. And what's interesting is I, I asked him like, what made you think that it was like not like a real person talking to you or something was off and he said it was the term insufferable swagger. So I'm guessing he googled it um, and then found the like what I was talking about and then just sent me the response. Um, but then he continued to hit on me and I was like dude this is a catfish like I'm not this is not like a real thing and he's like I just think it's super cool that you would hit on somebody using book quotes and I'm like I'm not hitting on you I am catfishing you stop. But he was super cool. Uh, to have figured it out, so go Clayton. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna go with is Kobe. Kobe said, in response to my bio, which says, does your lover know what you are, which I don't think he read it correctly. Nah, she don't know I'm here, but I'll leave her for you, eyeballs. What's up? See what you want, Kobe, and seize it. That's what I'm trying to do. So look, this week, pick a day, and I'm taking you out to dinner. At the worst, you get free food and nice night. What do you say? You haven't earned it. Oh, and how do I earn it? Go away, this is so awful. <laughs> Go! <laughs> I don't want you listening! No, I want you to see it when everybody else sees it. Love you. Love you. You make me proud to serve you. So that's something that Rowan says to Aelin in the context of like, yeah, I'm like super happy that you're the queen and cool. It was not like a sexual thing. Serve me? Like what? A sex slave? And see, he said it jokingly with like the crying laughing emoji. So I said, I've never been with an equal. I've never allowed myself to be that unleashed. So he said, so come let me make you proud to serve me. You not allowed to be unleashed. I control you. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Rowan doesn't get controlled and uh, I don't continue to have this conversation. I'm gonna go with a level nine on the Aelin scale of thirst. So. Kobe's a level nine. I just like how it was a joke and then all of a sudden he was like super into it. Like chill. Next we have Zach. And Zach initiated the conversation with Adam Sandler saying, so hot, want to touch the hiney. It's just so, so painfully stupid. So naturally I answered, see what you want and seize it. Don't ask for it. Don't wish for it. Take it. I'm taking that booty then. LOL. Why? Make good on that promise. Gladly. Yeah, we're done with him. He's a level eight. He's he's a level eight. We're done. Next we have Christian. Never underestimate the power of that insufferable swagger. Uh, facts. IG. LOL. See, I assumed here that he was asking for, like, Rowan's Instagram because that's what normally IG in these conversations stands for and they will ask for your Instagram like incessantly. So I assumed he was asking for my Instagram handle so I said why should I give you what you want? What do I want? Do you want to bite me? <laughs> Sorry. No? What do you mean by bite lol? But if you could would you? 
if you tell me what you mean by bite me, I'll answer your question. Don't like that word. I don't know what it means. You're gonna make me enjoy training you. Training me in what, lol? I'll even let you decide how I tell you with my words or with my tongue and teeth. There's gotta be another way of saying bite me. You've gathered enough information about me at this point to have learned what you need to know. I guess you're kinky, but I don't know what you talking about. But I think you're used to getting your way. Well, what's your way? I've never been with an equal. I've never allowed myself to be that unleashed. What if you were? Something tells me you might not mind if we were discovered. If someone saw how thoroughly I plan to worship you. I would love to be worshipped. Okay, so <laughs> he was pretty hesitant. So I'm I'm thinking at the beginning like, oh, this guy is not going to go from like a level one anywhere upwards. But I think with that last message, I reeled him in and I think we settled on like a level five, which is you're staying with me from now on. I think that it shot up real quick when he was like, yeah, I would love to be worshipped. I deserve that. Own your thirst, Christian. Own it. Next we have Kelvin. Kelvin says, hey, you have some beautiful eyes. Tell me something I don't already know. That you match the right guy. See what you want, Kelvin, and seize it. I want you, and I already seized it. No one can't take what I want. You trying to meet up right now? You haven't earned it. I haven't, huh? What will make me earn it? I've never been with an equal. I've never allowed myself to be that unleashed. That one is so versatile. An equal? Do you want to bite me? I'll bite you anywhere you want. You just have to tell me. And then he did like the tongue out emoji. Make good on that promise. Take advantage of that promise. So I think that we are going to label Kelvin at a level seven, which is you make me want to live Rowan. I think that that, that sounds like about right for Kelvin. Next we have Randy. Randy just sends me a picture of Olivia Wilde making a, you know, come hither face, which yeah, Olivia Wilde is super fine. So I answered with, what are you getting at? And then he just sent me a gif of Jessica Alba, like literally telling somebody to get into bed with her, um, which also Jessica Alba, super fine. However, Randy is super disqualified for being a super douche. He didn't even say anything and he didn't even want me to say anything. He just immediately saw pictures of a pretty girl and was like, Let's do this. Next we have Sam. Hey, are you actually 28? What are you getting at? I bad, it's just you look like you're 20, 21. If the situation calls for it. What? Interesting. When do you think the situation calls for it? Oh, he said, well, do you think the situation calls for it? Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't matter because I answered with nonsense anyway. Never underestimate the power of that insufferable swagger. Haha, ha, how strong is this insufferable swagger though? I've never been with an equal. Well, let me change that for you. Something tells me you might not mind if we were discovered. If someone saw how thoroughly I plan to worship you. If we were to be discovered, it would be as if two of the most valuable pieces of treasure have been discovered. This idea is infinite, as is the spiritual and physical connection we see. Did he just see what you want and seize it? Don't ask for it, take it. Just tell me what you want and it will be done. So here I decided to use two quotes like just for the hell of it. You're what I want, let me have you. You're free to do anything you please to me. You're really going to enjoy making me train you. I'll be your brand new puppy. I'm gonna label him a six, which is Karen Am, which is really like partner up. Um, Cause puppy just sounds like kind of cute and not like super sexual. So um, despite all of his other messages, just that puppy thing, it, it put him on level six. Next we have Mike. I think there were a few Mikes. All these dudes are named the same thing. This is why I named my kids things that other people don't wait a minute. Actually, <laughs> one of my kids' names is Rowan, <laughs> but it's not from Throne of Glass. It's, um, it's, I named him after Rowan or Ravenclaw, so it's spelled R-O-W-E-N. This guy's name is R-O-W-A-N. It's not the same. My kid's name is Rowan Ollivander. We're very much Harry Potter in this house. Does that explain why I have this guy and this and this and no. We're not gonna talk about it. I used to be a really big Throne of Glass fan. Now I'm a moderate Throne of Glass fan. Mike says, yo, the name's Mike, obviously. And I have to say, you're really pretty and I love your smile. Tell me something I don't already know. Well, you don't know much about me, so I'll tell you that I've been doing MMA for four years now. That's actually really cool. So I took the opportunity. <laughs> to use a particular Rowan quote that I really am fond of. You're really going to make me enjoy training you. Is that so? I love the confidence, lol. See, I thought he was going to talk about MMA. Like, missed opportunity here, Mike. What if I know more than you? I don't. 
Never underestimate the power of that insufferable swagger. Haha, ha, don't worry, I won't. This might be a little early to ask, but you seem pretty cool. You trying to hang out sometime? You haven't earned it. What does one have to do to earn a date with a girl like you? I want to take my time with you to learn every inch of you. Sorry, my phone just cut out. And this apartment has very, very thin walls. I don't want to have an audience when I make you moan, Mike. So embarrassing. I hope my family doesn't watch these videos. Oh shit. I like the sound of that, Rowan. Good. I'd hate for you to get bored. I don't think I would get bored learning every inch of you. So these dudes are all pretty high on the scale. Like we haven't had anyone that's like between one and three. So Mike's right up there with the rest of them. Um, I'm going to label him a seven. You make me want to live, Rowan. He's pretty flirty. He's into it. If Rowan asked him like, hey, I want to meet up and train you, but also do it on the beach. I think Mike would be down. Next up we have Billy. Billy opens with Minecraft time. What? So I answered with, what are you getting at? Like literally, that's not just a Rowan quote. Like I literally don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I'm just trying to get at these diamonds with you. Again, what? So I use the quote, I don't know whether to throttle you or clap you on the back. Well, I ran out of Minecraft pickup lines, so that should show you what I'm bringing to the table. Minecraft, you're bringing Minecraft to the table. I think I started to figure you out, Billy. And what have you figured out, madam? My mind is a labyrinth, so try your best. That sort of ability could be a helpful tool for later. And he just answered with a gif of that one guy from House saying, bruh. So I'm thinking that he probably thought I was a bot or super weird. So he was still thirsty enough to talk to me. So I'm gonna label him a level two, Rowan grabbing Aelin's tongue so she can't talk shit about Maeve. And he never messaged again, so I feel like that's the right level. Next we have Diego, and Diego scared the absolute shit out of me. And you wouldn't think it from the beginning of the conversation, but big yikes. Diego opened with, I don't even know what I am as in an answer to my bio which says, does your lover know what you are? So I answered with, do you need an introduction to myself? I wanna take my time with you to learn every inch of you. And he sent me a gif of an inchworm. So I thought he was gonna be like a level two, level three top. What are you getting at? Inchworm, I thought it was funny. I don't know whether to throttle you or clap you on the back. Then he sent a gif of Archer, which I love that show. So like, I don't wanna be like, hey, I like that show, but I didn't. What are you getting at? I think I've started to figure you out, Diego. Hmm, I don't know. What do you mean? You're really going to enjoy making me train you. Then he sent a gif of a dog going like this, which adorable. I want to take my time with you to learn every inch of you. Whatever you want to whatever end. That's like the iconic Rowan quote and I finally got to use it. What do you want? See what you want, Diego and seize it. And he said, I want a distraction to not be me. Can you help me do that? That should have been my first clue. And so I answered with, I see you. I see every part of you and I am not afraid. Do you want to meet? Just tell me what you want and it will be done. Now that's not actually a sexual quote. <laughs> that's something that Rowan says to Gabriel, so. And yet, Diego sent me something so gross that I blocked it out because it's, it was, it was too far. So, um, Diego is a level 10. And also Diego's pretty disgusting. So we're gonna move on. Next we have Bailey. I like the way you look. Very forward. Thanks, Bailey. Apparently we both clean up well. Yes, we do. So you know what I want, so let's make it happen. If we're going to explore, then we're going to do it under cover of darkness. In other words, you want to do this at night. That's the only time I'm available anyway. LOL. I want to take my time with you to learn every inch of you. Sounds good to me. What's your availability? There is no limit to what I can give you. No time I need. So when are you available? So I tried to throw him off using like weird quotes but he did not give a fuck so I'm just going to label him a level 9 golden nightgown that's what he is moving on except real quick I just think it's funny how I was like we're gonna do this under cover of darkness and he was like so we meet at night cool that's when I get off work like stop oh hi <laughs> so here's the thing um so I was filming this video and then I had to take my kid to school here we are almost two months later. Oops. So I figured we should probably finish this so I can post it. Yeah? Okay. Um, next up is Elijah. What's up, baby girl? You're bad. Tell me something I don't know. Ha ha. That I'm about to marry you soon. What are you up to, though? I've never been with an equal. Why not? I've never allowed myself to be that unleashed. Well, that's sad. LOL. You have to try it sometime. It will help you grow. That sort of ability could be a helpful tool for later. Yes, it could. It has helped me. I feel like I can offer so much now, but are you actually 28? You don't look like it. 
What are you getting at? Haha, ha, for which part? I'm saying once I find someone I can vibe with, I'm going to treat her like a queen. Well, Rowan's already a prince, so. I want to take my time with you to learn every inch of you. This sounds too good to be true. Just tell me what you want and it will be done. This is why I don't film. This is why I haven't filmed this video. This is exactly why. This is why I haven't filmed this video. Depends, haha, if the situation calls for it. Yeah, lol, depends on what type of mood I'm in. You are too cute for me, haha, I feel like you are catfishing me. So we're gonna say Elijah is like a level between five and six. We're just gonna leave him there. I kinda feel bad for catfishing him now. Next we have, okay, this whole time I've been pronouncing his name Sam, but it's got a U in it, so, Sam? We're gonna go with Sam. Sam says, hello, love. There you are. They say love finds you, but I said F it and sent love my address. Guess it worked. LOL. How are you, gorgeous? Never underestimate the power of that insufferable swagger. You, my lady, are an essence of love. What are you up to tonight? Just tell me what you want and it will be done. I don't want sex if that's what you're asking. And what about you? But if you could, would you? I can have sex if I want, but I just don't want sex from anyone. Do you want sex? If the situation calls for it. Yes, you're right. I totally agree. So where do we go from here? I will do whatever I please. LOL, sounds good to me. When do you want to get up? What is get up? See, I never know what anyone is saying because people use these terms that I'm not <laughs> in touch with. There is no limit to what I can give you. No time I need. So how about you get up and have some drinks? I guess get up means go out. So we're gonna label Sam a level four. He's kind of feeling it, but not really. Next we have Zay. Your eyes are killer gorgeous and could assassinate someone with beauty. Put them away before you hurt someone. That is very true about Rowan. I feel like that was written by SJM herself. Tell me something I don't already know. That they're dangerous weapons and you need to be blindfolded so that the public remains safe. If you hear stuff in the background, it's my son. That sort of ability could be a helpful tool for later. The ability to subdue you is definitely key to survival. What? I want to take my time with you to learn every inch of you. We can study each other thoroughly. I'll have to bring a ruler for precise measurements. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whew. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I don't know whether to throttle you or clap you on the back. You need more than a studious eye to pull that off. You'll need experience and a sixth sense. You can do both. Am I trolling him or is he trolling me? Don't be surprised when you end up on your back. Do you delight in shocking me? It's invigorating when the predator becomes prey. <laughs> I think this is my favorite one. This is my favorite dude. Almost harmonious. Does it delight you to be shocked? <laughs> Never underestimate the power of that insufferable swagger. Wise lady, for such a miscalculation is fatal. Such is the balance of life. I look forward to keenly observing you using all my senses. I've never been with an equal. I've never allowed myself to be that unleashed. Seems like it's time for you to explore the experience and unleash yourself unapologetically. And then he set his phone in his Snapchat and said, choose your path wisely. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even gonna rate him on the scale of thirst because I just feel like he won. Like, out of that interaction, that dude won. Next, we have Michael. I feel like you could show me a thing or two. You're really going to make me enjoy training you. When's my first lesson? You haven't earned it. Can't earn it if I don't know how to. Do you need an introduction? You want to train me, don't you? That sort of ability could be a helpful tool for later. Well, I want to take my time with you to learn every inch of you. Great. Love that. When do we start? You can tell me what you want, when you want, but there's no going back now. No going back? The fat cat? Don't touch the tripod. The baby just got in trouble for that. What are you doing? I feel like I'm selling my soul away. Haha. <laughs> The fact that you worry says enough about your intentions. You know nothing of my intentions. Okay. I think you should come get me and show me a few things tonight. I will do whatever I please. You want to learn every inch of me, right? You're going to have to try a lot harder to sneak past me. And then it... I guess he said goodnight streaks. I don't know what that means. And I responded with, never underestimate the power of that insufferable swagger. So, Michael was kind of like reaching the golden nightgown level, but I'm gonna knock him down to level two, which is Rowan grabbing Aelin's tongue so she can't shit talk about Maeve because he got mad at me. So that's all of the dudes that I catfished. Um, I had a good time doing this, however, these videos are a lot, and yeah, it's a lot, and then editing is just the 
freaking worst. I do like doing these though, I, and I know that they're very popular. My one of Resan currently is my most watched video, and it has like, I don't get like a ton of views on my videos. My like maximum is typically 60, and my like average is normally 30. And that's fine. Like, I just like being on, on booktube in general. That video with the recent quotes has like 2,500 views. So apparently people like these and I like doing them. I hate editing them, but I like doing them. Um, me and my husband get a lot of laughs out of it. So I hope you guys do too. If you want to leave your comments down below of who you would like me to do next, I'm not going to promise I'm going to do it soon, but um, I am thinking of doing another one of these. I thought about doing Cardin from The Cruel Prince, who I just don't understand why anybody is into, but apparently that's a thing. So if you want me to do Cardin, leave me some Cardin quotes down below, or you can leave me another character and tell me what series they're from, because I might not know. And I'll try to do that next time. I guess that's it. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you feel like it. I make videos and post them whenever I want. And I will see you next time. Bye!